Hey everybody, happy Saturday. Enjoying some Michigan cherry coffee. And a nice pipe on this beautiful day. A little rainy here, but it's that really nice fall rain. Straight down, just uh, sounds great on the, on the roof and nice and cool. Join an aromatic today, and that's going to be the topic of the conversation, but Hunter's Choice from Boswell. Burley Cavendish, Virginia. Nice, um, <coughs> pardon me, nice nutty flavor. Nutty uh, molasses kind of flavor. So I want to talk today about aromatics and a thought I had last night. And why I believe I may, I personally am enjoying coming back to aromatics now uh, as opposed to um, starting with them per se or, 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 or learning. So let me, let me preface this and shape this a little bit, okay? When I'm talking aromatics, I'm not necessarily talking your, your drugstore blends. They can fall into that aromatic category. I know your Carter Halls, your half and halves. I... I kind of subculture those as codger blends, and I don't necessarily consider them an aromatic, although a lot of people do. In the context of this video, what I'm talking about aromatics are your more cased, flavored, more wet, goopy, harder to manage tobaccos, if you will, okay? So my story starts out in my late 20s. Went to the tinderbox in Columbus, Ohio, picked up a couple basket pipes. Some sweet smelling, good smelling tobacco, right? It's like a candy store. They used to have it all in the back in the in the, in the jars, right? All the different tobaccos. Love going into Tinderbox. Take my pipe, go home, load it up, smoke the hell out of it, burn the heck out of my tongue. <clears throat> Get this terrible nicotine sickness because I don't know what I'm doing. Try it a couple times, put the pipe down, give the pipes away, throw the tobacco out. I didn't know. Didn't know what I didn't know. This is back before YouTube and before we, we had the YTPC and that we could share and learn from each other and network, if you will, okay? Times passed, went back, picked up the pipe, started again, learned how to enjoy it, learned how to smoke it, and uh, here we are. That's why I believe, and my contention is, aromatics are better. The, again, for this video, the purpose of aromatics, you're more heavily cased, goopy, more wet, harder to manage tobaccos, are better for an experienced smoker, in my opinion, than a new smoker. New smokers, I will always turn them on. Grab Carter Hall. You can get away with one Q, but grab Carter Hall. Grab Prince Albert. Half and half. Grab one of those and get going. Very forgiving tobaccos. Okay. Learn your cadence. Learn the breath method. Learn how to sip. And then dive in and learn how to manage wet tobaccos and dry them out before you smoke them and all that good stuff, right? All that good stuff. Now, in the pipe community, and we're a great community, but there is a lot of, um, the term I'm looking for here. Let's just say highly opinionated people. Um, You'll hear, you know, aromatics, ah, they're terrible, they're for babies. You'll hear, ah, filter pipes, terrible, don't waste your time, take it out. You're, you're, you're a wimp for smoking a filter pipe. Do what you like, smoke what you like, okay? I'll never change that. I'll always tell people, do what you like, smoke what you like, pipe shape what you like, all of it. Lighters, whatever you want to do. But now that I've come back to the pipe, I have a few more years under my belt, I think I'm better positioned personally to smoke and enjoy the aromatic pipe tobaccos than I would have been or than I was in my 20s. Because I've learned the techniques. I've learned how to manage the tobacco. 
I've learned how to slow down and enjoy my pipe. It's not a race. I've learned real lights don't matter. I've learned how to tamp. I've learned all of that stuff, right? And I think that's positioned me now to come back and enjoy some aromatics. You know, um, I probably was opinionated too when I got back into it and got into Englishes, but ah, oh, aromatics, uh, you know, it's a newbie tobacco. And my contention today is aromatics are not best suited for a new pipe smoker. They're better suited for an experienced pipe smoker. And again, in this context, aromatics, more heavily cased, more goopy, uh, more difficult to manage. You need experience to manage that. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. I was just thinking about it last night because I started picking up some aromatics again and some Boswells and Y'all know me if you've watched the videos. I'm uh, the Northwoods Railroad Station, Quiet Nights, Abingdon. Give me a great Balkan, Bothy Flake. Give me a great Balkan or a really thick English with a lot of Latakia, and I'm pretty happy. Uh, that's my wheelhouse and what, really what I enjoy. But I'm coming back to aromatics to give them a, a peek back, you know, a check back. And I gotta tell you, I'm enjoying them. They have their place. They are great with a cup of coffee. Great in the morning. And you get some different unique flavors and tastes and, and, and it just can be fun, I guess. So, again, share your thoughts. What are your thoughts? Our aromatics, and again, don't keep the codger blends out of this because that's I will always tell people codger blends are the best place to start. Always. I'll always tell them that if they ask an opinion. And again, opinions are usually worthless. But And I try not to give opinions to people. But if they ask, that's, that's, I'll direct them that way. But what are your thoughts on aromatics? Better for the new pipe smoker? Because everybody wants the aromatics, right? When they first start. They, they gravitate toward, man, grandpa's pipe smelled so good. Dad's pipe smelled so good. The house smelled like cherry. It smelled like vanilla. It smelled like molasses, um, maple. You know, you'll hear all these stories, and, and that's what draws, quite frankly, a lot of people to the pipe. Um, and could be, in my case, dangerous. That's what drew me to the pipe was, was friends, dads, and sweet-smelling tobacco and loved going in and smelling the, the house and and riding in the car with them and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, picked it up and it didn't work out well. It didn't work out well. So give me your thoughts. What are your thoughts? Aromatics, better for a new pipe smoker or better for a veteran pipe smoker? Interesting topic. But I thought I'd share that with you today. Have a great day, everybody. I'm going to sit around today, read, smoke my pipes. Just enjoy the day. Just enjoy the day and uh, be safe out there, everybody. Take care of each other. Wash your dog on hands. We'll see you next time.